Well, there are two key words here, cost and speed. The West Seattle Bridge is already a construction site. They call this phase the stabilization of the existing structure. The city says this work amounts to a down payment on repairing the bridge, money spent that won't go to waste. What's new are carbon fiber wraps that strengthen cracked concrete and a series of bolts that help with the bridge's internal structure. Money matters, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. As we narrowed the half dozen options in recent months to these two key options, repair or replacement of the mid-span, I saw the benefits and risks of both. Here are the numbers, 47 million to repair the bridge versus 522 million to replace it. A repaired bridge opened in the middle of 2022, a year earlier than a replacement. The lifespan of the repaired bridge, 15 to 40 years versus a new bridge, it's 75 to 100. The decision, repair the bridge as long as it was safe. We also looked at the speed to restore mobility. It has been a priority from day one to restore, restore mobility uh, in this corridor. It is the workhorse of Seattle. It carries over 100,000 trips a day in usual circumstances. It is a key corridor for freight um, for the port, which is one of the economic drivers, not just of Seattle, but of our whole region. But the mayor says repairing the West Seattle Bridge does something else. A new bridge now would only do what the current bridge does handle cars, buses, and truck traffic. If given time, an eventual replacement could incorporate light rail and give the city more options. Now, some of that money could come from the federal government. So Representative Pramila Jayapal, who represents this district, says there are two pools of federal money they are looking at for transportation and bridge repair expensive expenses that could help offset some of that $47 million. Live on Harbor Island, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. I'm glad to have a decision finally. Glenn, thank you.